Serving others. Serving others. Serving others. Is our calling. Is our calling. Serving others is our calling. Serving others means to me showing respect to the homeowners and employees like I'd like them to treat me. Every situation is different. You learn from every situation. If you don't have the answer, making sure that you can reach out to others who will have the answer. Listening, helping, guiding every step of the way. You have to listen. And what they're saying isn't always what they're saying. It's not always their actual message. I don't like to leave any project undone. It's a sense of purpose. It's a sense of serving others. It's my sense of obligation to ensure that my clients are happy. When you get positive feedback, it's great because you know that you have a passion for what you do. For them to send a positive review is just, it's just heartwarming. She sent me flowers the next day and I will remember it 25 years later. They're constantly telling me how much they appreciate me and I think a big part of that is because I do whatever I can to make myself available to them. I feel really proud on behalf of my team because usually the positive feedback I receive isn't just for me, it's the people in accounting, SEC, our insurance agents, our integrated services, so I'm really proud when we all come together and really get that feedback. Home is where the heart is, and people have put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into their home. You look at your house as your prized possession, your sanctuary that you go home to, so I look at their homes as the same way. This is their peace of mind, this is their family time, this is where they do what they do, their passion, what they love, so we want to take care of it. Homeowners have entrusted us with the most private asset that they have. It is our job to keep them safe and to maintain them. This is their home. This is what's gonna be their retirement or putting their children through college. And that's important. Someone who serves well is someone who listens. Humble, first and foremost. You're definitely gonna need to have some patience, but that doesn't only mean patience with your clients, it also means patience with yourself. I think everyone needs that opportunity to learn. For me to help another individual, whatever that means, either it's solving a problem or just being a shoulder to lean on or just listening. Common courtesy and respect for others is a dying breed and I like to bring that back as much as I possibly can. It may not make sense to you or it may not seem like it's a big problem to you, but it isn't about you. Keeping them informed. So it may not be the answer they want to hear, but nothing is worse than hearing nothing. If serving others is important to you, you will go the extra mile and you'll do whatever it takes to make the client happy, make your colleague happy. It's all about making sure that that homeowner, that your client is happy. To me, serving others means stepping in and doing the job to the very best of your ability in a way that's unique to you. And I think there's nothing higher or better that one can do than dedicate themselves to serving others. Serving others is our calling. 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 Serving others is our calling.